Good morning, fellow Americans. I need to talk to somebody, and I, I really have no one. So, got to get some stuff off my chest. This is really for Americans, not the anti-Americans that are in this country right now. This is for all the Americans that have been called bigots, racists, Nazis, white supremacists, pretty much for the last five years. Um, there's no easy way to say it, but for all the critical thinkers, for all the free thinkers, for all the people that are objective, open-minded, I want you to really dig deep and find out, ask yourself, could we really trust the people that are in charge of this country right now? Can we trust the information that they're giving us? I'm inclined to say no. Um, we're talking about a regime that has literally, literally been attacking their own citizens. The situation in Ukraine and Russia, I believe there's something more to that. And when I say that, my heart goes out to the civilians, the citizens of that country that are in a predicament that their government put them in. I'm sure the citizens didn't choose any of this. But you got to ask yourself, with the Burisma case, with everything that this corrupt regime has been involved in and been caught with, do you believe anything that they're telling you? Right now, in this country, we're fighting an internal war. It's all by design. It's calculated. We know this. World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab. Goes deeper than that with the Rockefeller families, the Vanguards, the Black Rocks, Black Stones. You, you, you know the list. I'm inclined to believe the opposite of what these fucking people been telling us. I truly don't believe that Russia would just attack for nothing. Now, you can believe what you want. Am I siding with Putin? No. But do I understand? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I understand that this regime has been lying to us for the longest time. If you go back and do research on the history of all the wars, everything lined up, all the occupying that we've been, uh, that I ain't going to say we, that our government has been doing, it's not a coincidence that it suddenly stops when Trump gets in office. America first. Uh, secure our borders, strengthen the military, leave me the fuck alone attitude. The fact that he was getting out of wars pissed off the left. Called him a sympathizer. A friend. Well, ain't that what you want to do? Make friends instead of enemies? So if you're telling me that he's evil because he wanted to make friends with the previous governments and presidents and, and regimes that we've had. That's how you spread peace around the world. And I'm looking at this like, this is intentional. They wanted this. And when I say they, I mean our regime that's in charge right now. It's, it's fucking crazy to believe that this was just all an accident. I don't believe a fucking word that the Biden regime is saying. I don't believe their narrative. I don't believe their reasoning. There's no way. There's no way that these people have our best interest, best interest at heart. We can tell. We've seen this. Don't believe what they're telling you. 
Don't fall for their lies. They have literally been calling you every name in the book, demonizing you for critical thinking, for thinking for yourself. You see this, we see this. I am not behind and I do not support Ukraine. I support its people, its civilians, its citizens that are under attack because of their government. We've seen this in Canada recently. The World Economic Forum, it has its plans. Rockefeller Foundation has its plans. The four scenarios to push civilization forward, to push humanity forward. Right now, we are in a grasp of lockstep. That is the first scenario. You know what lockstep is. Top-down government. No freedom. Only control. For the lack of a better term, CCP-style government. This is what they want. Makes it easier for them to do whatever they do want to do. The narrative right now is is Russia bad, Russia bad, Russia bad. They've been literally conditioning us to believe this for the last six years. Ever since Trump come in, threw that monkey wrench in their fucking machine, broke some gears. They have been nothing but demonizing Russia. They've been building this up, conditioning us to say Russia bad, Russia bad. Do I back Russia? I, I back the Russian citizens. I am not, I, I'm not backing any kind of government. Especially ones that don't have their citizens and, and, and people in their hearts. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the regime that's in charge in our country, they don't give a fuck about us. We are faceless rodents. That what they would gladly get rid of because we don't think like they do. They don't like that. It's a threat to their ideology. It's a threat to their agenda, their goal. They want for America what they've done in Canada, what they've done in Australia, what they've done around the world. I'm inclined to believe the opposite of everything they ever fucking tell us. That's the tent man rule. Everyone's on board. Oh, I, I back Russia. I back. I mean, I, I back Ukraine. I back Ukraine. I'm not so sure. I don't trust the communist regime that's in in place right now. Their progression is. Pro, let me rephrase that. They are projectionists. They will call you who they are. And the reason they do this is because they want to be able to demonize you in that light. That way, whenever it comes to light, that's truly who they are. They can try to dismiss that by saying, oh, well, they only saying that because we called it that first. No, they're projectionists. What they do is they literally project at every aspect, they can't help it. And it's really in human nature, but it's, it's, it's really bad on their side. They literally tell you exactly what they're going to do if you listen closely. They've been planning this all along. Will they sacrifice us? I don't put it past them. I don't. It's, it's crazy to see how easily a lot of these people just went along with the narrative of, of the regime that's in charge right now. Um, with all the corruption, with all the scandalous deals that are coming to light, I don't believe a word that these fucking people are saying. I don't. I think it's truly, truly deceptive. 
intentionally. Try to convince us that Russia's bad, Russia's bad. Eh, they got their faults. They got their faults. But I'm going to tell you right now, Russia didn't shut down our pipelines. No. No, they didn't. Russia didn't invade our schools. Russia isn't teaching our kids how to be racist. Russia didn't open our borders. It didn't. Russia isn't trying to silence our citizens of dissent, of open thought, of critical thinking. I'll tell you who has. Everyone that's spewing out their support for the Ukrainian government. Once again, I am not for the government. I am for the Ukrainian people who are caught up in the corruption and deception of their government. If you think for a fact that Nazi is, Nazism, I, I guess you could say it is, has, has disappeared since World War II, I would probably tell you you're fucking wrong. And you're naive if you think so. These ideologies don't disappear over, over time. They don't. They lie in dormant and build up steam. That's what we're seeing in our country right now. The fact that we are, have always been diversity, we've always encouraged other people's thoughts, religion, beliefs. We've always supported that. But I'm going to tell you right now, I truly do not believe what the left is telling us. I do not believe what our government is telling us. They've lied for too many, too many years and about everything. I fear this is inevitable. I fear this is irreversible. I fear that our government is going to sacrifice us. In which way? I don't know. But I do know that they don't give a fuck about us. The Biden regime has done everything. Every aspect, every move, every decision that they've made has literally been to destroy the country. Everything has literally been to destroy this country. I don't know how we stop it. Other than voting these people out in the primaries. I'm just hoping that Russia gives us some time to correct it. If he can, if he can hold off, give us till November, we will correct this. We will take these this regime out of office and we can banish them from ever stepping foot in office again. If you don't have humanity as your goal and peace, prosperity, help, then we're lost. But I'll tell you this right now. If Putin can give us until November, I guarantee you this regime is gone. It's over. This has been weighing on my chest for a long time. And like I said before, I don't have no one really to open up to. So I figured I'd talk to whoever sees this. And if you're watching this, I want you to really think critically, openly, objectively, and ask yourself, are we inclined to believe the regime? I'm not. 
I'm not. 